Service learning is an open textbook. It's applying course concepts on site and seeing how theory differs from reality. It's um, understanding your community. SNHU does service learning because Manchester is your home and we want to connect you here as soon as possible and understand the people who live in your community, understand your course concepts, how they play out in the real world. You get to go into the Manchester community and work with different demographics like an after school program or uh, English for New Americans program and you just get to integrate what you're learning in your classroom to in the field. Service learning is um, a weekly direct opportunity where you are at the site for two hours a week and you go to the same site and you meet there each week and um, work with the same group of people but you're looking at different questions um, and how they relate to your separate course. Service learning has opened my eyes to a whole new world of different people and opportunities and I've met people from tens of countries and understood family and culture and society in a whole new way. Just being with the kids and just being mentors to them, whether it's with the kids cafe, just sitting down eating dinner, having a conversation with them, to then going to play dodgeball or whatever where you know you're making connections with that stuff like that. Service learning has impacted me in so many ways. Um, I'm an education major and to be able to go to these after school programs every week and make these relationships with the students um, at SNU and with the kids of the after school programs is so great and to learn new things about the Manchester community is just an awesome opportunity. We were in a conference room and we used to play hide and seek pretty much every week for an hour and a half. After their homework was done, we were playing hide and seek and it was under a table and behind a fan and there were no spots. But all the kids laughed the whole time and it really showed me that no matter where you're from, there's a lot you can find in common. And one of the first words that I taught them was happy. And until this, like to this day, when I go back and visit them, they're like, Miss Nicole, I'm so happy to see you. Like, thank you for all your help with like my English. And they're just so amazing. And to be able to see them grow over the year um, has been so eye-opening. And I'm so happy to be a part of that.